that this is within like less than a minute of us tinkering with it, we have a visual that looks very different to the existing Power BI um, bar charts that you get. Hello and welcome to SSW TV. My name is Andreas Lenkik and today I'm joined by Prem Radhakrishnan. Hopefully I got that one right. Prem is a solution architect at SSW and he is known as the local Power BI expert. Uh, Prem, how are you doing today? Good, thanks, Andreas. Um, thank you for having me. Thanks for coming on the show. It's always welcome to have you here. Uh, so uh, I hear that today you're going to be talking about Power BI and how to get some awesome custom visuals in um, for your products. Prem, can you tell us a bit more about that? Of course. Um, so for those of you who have been following SSW TV, you might remember the one of the last talks we had done was regarding um, transforming your Power BI dashboards uh, with custom visuals uh, built in React. Um, so that was a, a coded solution. Um, so it is a talk I did a few months ago, I think in December back. Uh, and uh, that was um, you obviously to do to create a custom visual, you needed to know React, you had to know the Power BI APIs, work mm. with the data views. Um, so uh, definitely for the programmers uh, in, in the in the uh, in the bunch. Um, so uh, that's what that talk was about. So now this time, you know, we also want to look at uh, one of the other options like a low code solution. Um, so that's that's what I would like to share with you today. Yeah, perfect. So I mean, having custom visuals in Power BI is so powerful. It can help with really getting that impact to the final people who are viewing the the actual report. Uh, and sometimes, even though it's the same data, putting it in an interesting and engaging way can really help them to see the value of it. Um, I understand you've worked a lot about with this before. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, you know it's it's about making sure that your reports are telling the right story to your end users, and uh, it's it's um, making sure that people. Um, uh, understand what your report is trying to convey without having to work too much at trying to understand or trying to uh, delve too much in, into it. Uh, it should be fairly easy to read, fairly uh, at a glance. They should be at least take away a couple of the main key features you're trying to get across on that visual. So uh, I think that's where you, uh, you would normally work with your business, um, uh, the stakeholders, and try to see, okay, which report is trying to tell what, and then choose a visual that is, um, uh, that is appropriate. Yeah, of course. And you, you talked about this a little bit in your previous uh, user group, the transforming your Power BI dashboards. Um, and, and that one was all about using the React code and it was a whole bunch of behind the scenes stuff you need to know as a programmer. Um, but tell me more about this, this alternative low code solution that sounds great for management and other reporting staff who may not have that kind of coding background. Yeah. It's, it's a great option. So for people who have looked at the various options before, you might know of Charticulator. So it's uh, it, the, the front page and the, the title kind of uh, tells you, uh, you know, the gist of it. So it's basically creating bespoke chart designs without the programming, without, so you know, with the low code option. It, it's free and open source from Microsoft Research. Um, so it's, and it's been around for a while. A, a definitely a great option for those people who don't know, know to program, don't want to program all the time. Um, and but still want to have that little bit of flair, uh, that bit of differentiation on your reports, and you know sort of make uh, 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 have that transformation in your dashboards um, to tell that right story. So that that's an external solution that you can kind of, kind of combine with Power BI that's developed by Microsoft. Is that correct? Yes, it's, yeah. it's a separate team. Called, so it's from the Microsoft Research team, and they've got a separate team um, uh, who works on that, and they've done some great, great work. And it's come back into focus in the last uh, couple of weeks because uh, what's happened is the the Power BI team have sort of uh, taken on board this, and uh, they have introduced this as a custom visual within the app source itself. Uh, if you wanted to use one of these bespoke charts, you launch it, uh, you. Uh, input a data set in here. You drag and drop your data file, as you can see this option over here. Uh, you create your links, and and then uh, you would then go into the Charticulator uh, app, which is and this is what it looks like. Um, and um, you would uh, create your custom chart within here. So you still need to know how Charticulator works, how what the um, you know what the terminologies are, what a glyph is in this case, as you can see over here. So there's a glyph, there are marks, there are this um, scaffolding. Um, um, so there's a few little things that you need to know, but it's it's uh, you know compared to definitely a lot easier than you know learning to programming learning programming in React and uh, you know working with the APIs etc. So it's it's definitely a much um, um, uh, a much better low code option. So how simple is it really to combine Power BI with Charticulator? Are you able to show us uh, some of the steps? Yeah, of course. 
if you look at the Charticular website itself, they have always had this sort of option where you can where they show you how to sort of um, import your um, Charticulator uh, uh, custom visuals into Power BI. So this was always there. Uh, but now what we have is, uh, which is what I really want to show you, is um, how you can uh, get that in your um, uh, within the Power BI desktop itself. Uh, this option. So um, let's just start for you know uh, what I do is it's there's just a blank Power BI report. Uh, what I do is just get more visuals, um, which goes into your app source, and you search for Charticulator here. Click on Add, and it'll pop up here um, as one of the options. Um, so, um, so that's how you import that uh, the Charticulator visual within your Power BI desktop, which itself is a great, uh, a great start. I'm just gonna load the sample data that uh, Microsoft has uh, provided us. Uh, just a, a very basic financials um, information or sales information, I think. Uh, so uh, let's import that, and uh, I'll just import. I think that is got pretty much everything we might want to see. Uh, yeah, that should give us. So I'll just import that. Um, load. Uh, so that should be there in a second. Uh, I'll just apply changes, and uh, we'll see in a second how we sort of start to work with the uh, with the visual. So if uh, you remember the um, this uh, the screen from last time, how the Charticulator app looked. So I'll just bring mm -hmm. that back yep. up again. Um, so so you remember this one. So it's it's a very similar experience uh, in this case as well. So what you do is I'm just going to bring. Um, uh, let me check my data first. So what I want to show is let's say um, you know we uh, have um, we want to show the sales by country, very basic. Um, so um, if you look at it as a table. Uh, and that's that's you know that's uh, um, everyone would have um, used something like this before. And if you wanted a, a, a ch bar chart for that, uh, you would uh, you know that's how that would look. You know, mm -hmm. a normal yeah. bar chart. So we can certainly improve that and upgrade the visuals there by a mile. And that, that's what Charticular here is is for. That is exactly right. You know, so um, um, now uh, one of the things that you would want to do here is, for example, right, is um, they all kind of the same color. You might want to sort of you know uh, change the colors according to uh, the uh, the visual here. Um, so what you do is um, uh, you can, uh, for people who have worked on, you would know you can set the default um, colors by by country and things like that uh, with Chartic letter. So so I'm just going to add a new visual here. And Chartic letter, I'm just going to. Uh, Reposition that. Now, uh, actually, just click on edit, and it brings up this um, sort of an option where you can basically work with. Uh, actually, I'll need the fields for a second. Uh, what I'm going to do is in this visual, I'm going to do the same. Um, select my country and uh, the gross sales. And um, so again, you have two options here. You can either create a chart from scratch, or you can import one of the pre-existing templates, which which you can see here. You know, so normally you would each each visual is a separate uh, marketplace um, icon or a uh, or, or or an option. In this case, you know, you bring in chart later and you suddenly have, you know, like 30, 40 more options, or you can even create your own from scratch. So that's that's what is it's great about it. You know, so um, and when you say create chart, you get taken to this interface that you know people who are familiar with chart later already get. So I'm just going to minimize that. Now you can see that this is very similar to the the previous screen that we were seeing, and it's about now just working with uh, that same um, instead of working on the Charticulator app and working with a separate data set that is removed from your Power BI and your other data sets. Now you can you know have in one integrated view. You basically do what you what you were always doing, and you bring that within here. And um, uh, for people who are not very familiar with it, it's it, it's a, it offers some great options. Uh, I'll just show a very quick uh, demo, not um, so that we just get a brief feel for. So you, what yeah. you do is you would um, create one of these marks, and basically, you, uh, let's say I have a mark here. Think of each each uh, data row as one as one bar. So in, in, if you remember, we had I think about five countries. I think uh, in there. Uh, mm -hmm. USA, Mexico, etc., Canada, etc., and this the, each bar represents country. And what you would do is, uh, what I want to show is gross sales uh, on, on on as a height, and that's where the power of this really comes in. So I, I click on that, and um, uh, it's it's the moment taking the average, but I can change that really easily. So instead of showing the average sales, I can just make that a sum, and I can add the legend. Uh, I click there, and um, each one comes in there. Now, what I can also do is, uh, let me just bring that in here, uh, within it. 
And uh, if I click on the text one now, uh, one thing that sometimes you know we get do get asked for is that uh, the labels within the normal Power BI um, reports you don't have too much control over where the labels sit. Whereas in this case, you know we can just uh, drag and drop the country into the text field, and you can see that you know the, the labels actually form form as part of that. So um, you can see that the labels um, sit within the bar chart now, and uses that extra level of control over you know how how right. we want that. So you're making use of the extra power Articulator gives you to really customize and fine tune uh, the data visuals that you're designing. Yeah, and uh, one other thing I can also do is um, so in the uh, coming back to the attributes for the shape. So I'm gonna I'm just clicked on shape right here, and as you can see in the style, the fill is a default color. Now if I just drag and drop the country into that, there you go. It sort of you know fills up with the with the countries on the theme that you already have set on your Power BI report. So based on the theme that you've already got selected, it fills in the colors appropriately by just dragging and dropping that within it. And then you also have this uh, ability to sort of position these labels uh, within these um, charts and play around with it. So there's a lot many more options that you get, and it's 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 a great uh, uh, a great little you know sort of um, um, a, a tool that you have at your fingertips with you know with um, um, you can see it's quite different and this is within like less than a minute of us tinkering with it we have a visual that looks very different to the existing power bi um, bar charts that you get so um, there's um, yeah. uh, quite a bit more time you can spend on it and um, it, it, there is a slight bit of learning curve like i mentioned earlier but definitely nothing compared to learning a whole new programming language like react or um, you know the power bi apis and things like that so it's that's for sure you can really see the power of being able to use a WYSIWYG drag and drop Anybody who doesn't know code will still be able to have a look and be like, okay, data goes here, that changes the color and so forth, so on and so forth. Uh, That's right. Much smaller in terms of no, no code required. Uh, I, I wonder, is there, so there's a bunch of stuff you can pull in from the galleries and all of this stuff is free, people provide them publicly and upload them to the marketplace? Um, um, not really, these are, these are uh, options that are provided by the Charticulate team. So it's not, you, you can create your own um, uh, templates and save it uh, you know, uh, with, within within your own um, so workspace or within your within your organization, you can do that. Um, so uh, that's how you would uh, work with it. Uh, the um, one option you do have is you have these templates that you know you can you, you look at the gallery for inspiration on what to create. If you're not sure, you know uh, what what exactly tells the right story, you can look here for inspiration, uh, or you can you know sort of um, uh, make use of the existing templates that have already been provided, and uh, just import that. And you know in in which case all you have to do is basically just you know create a data mappings between. Um, so for example, this um, uh, arc diagram for example has say five requires five data sources. Uh, for each of the various things um, uh, parameters, you would basically input a data set and then map those five. Your, your map your columns to those five parameters in here, and there is a, a, a um, again an interface, a UI interface to do that. So you can quite easily map your columns, and 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 you suddenly have an arc diagram at your disposal. So it's it's a very um, neat and clean way to sort of have some really cool visuals in your in your reports. Yeah, perfect. You can just kind of steal uh, this this expert design, and you can just drag and drop your own data in. Perfect. I think it really shows the power of Charticulator, a lot of the, the examples that you can use and pull in, uh, and how easy it is just to put it into your own application. Fantastic. Thank you for your time today, Prem. Uh, hopefully, it's been as good experience for you as it has for me, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for having me, and love showing you um, the Charticulator visual, and hope um, everyone likes it too.